As you go outside, you're you're wandering around looking for Rashaw and Layla. You happen to find them with Mr. Belmock over at the local uh, livery. But as you get up closer, you happen to see that it's definitely abandoned. When you get up closer, you start to smell something almost decaying. Layla, Shaw, Belmock, it's good to see you. Found two dead ones inside. Must have been dead for a while. Uh, it appears that there's something strange in this town. Yeah, a lot of things ain't adding up around these parts. It appears that something has befallen this town, but it, it appears either through magic or through divine intervention that this town has been changed in some manner. From what I've seen, it almost appears uh, demonic of sorts, to be honest with you. I have to admit, I'm not that familiar with the demonic or really the, the dark aspects. I'm mostly a man of intervention and innovation of the Arcane Arts myself, so. I know I mentioned this before, but you're, I'm not expecting you to stay here at all. I can provide Belmock with the proper currency and he can take you all on your way if that's what you feel is best. Well, Shaw, that's part of the reason I came to find y'all. Um, I think I will stay with y'all. Um, you and Layla seem like good people that don't intentionally bring harm to those that are less vulnerable. But the companions that we've come with, I've, I've come upon a conundrum. Well, they we took the mayor back to our place, and they they tied him up. And I believe DeSantis said the game they were going to play was truth or pain. And I could not be a willing participant to that. They, the man was already inebriated and clearly vulnerable. I'm at a pass because they, they wouldn't listen to my arguments as to how that would not be the best befitting those trying to help. Layla, why don't you go help Mr. Belmock and let me have a conversation here with Mr. Cecil, all right? Uh, by the way, Layla, um, I know your book lost its scent, uh, so tonight when we go back, I can refinish that. I, I, I had to infuse something else, so it uh, sadly it took away the magic out of that book, but I, I will replace it. Yeah, she gives you like a little uh, smile, and she like kind of like bows down a little bit before she uh, runs off with Mr. Belmock to uh, attend to the horses. Uh, walk over here with me, Cecil. That's a that's a good daughter you have there, Shaw. She's not my daughter. You treat her like a like a daughter. She is good, and she deserves a lot better than what I can give her. I don't know about that, Shaw. You seem to take great care of her. Well, we'll see. Anyways, about your situation and your compatriots. I don't know where are you from, Cecil. Well, I arrived in this world somewhere around. I believe it's Kansas. I don't quite remember anything before that i just i the last memory i have or the oldest is i awoke in a field laying on a bed of straw I met a nice family they took me in when they really didn't have to and helped me start discovering inclinations i had before that time the things i liked came back to me over time i found that i was talented in the arcane arts and then i've been traveling ever since i met a companion he sadly passed on to the other side before me but left behind some of his notes and i've been searching ever since well uh cecil i'm i'm just a lowly human put onto this uh god-given earth and uh i can't say i have more knowledge and or experience since uh you know you've definitely been here on this earth longer than i have but i do say that i'm an individual that's traveled around a lot and i've met all different types of people that have their own unique ways of thinking. These kinds of people just need the right push and the right direction. Sometimes you, we all have different circumstances. Uh, I haven't really been with y'all that long, so I'm not too sure how it is for y'all. But maybe sometimes they just need a, a guiding hand, perhaps. But what do I do if I try and provide that guidance, but they shun it? They, I, I tried to explain to them why it was wrong, but they just poked fun at me and made jabs and then continued doing it now honestly if i was if i'm being honest it seemed like something that like a pubescent child would do i just they they didn't listen and they kept doing things that were clearly wrong well i know sometimes you know you can't teach people or try and teach people but i understand that there's only so much that an individual can do that's something i have trouble with myself I have a few co-workers that I'm not very fond of, but, uh, oh, somebody seems to be calling me on my Samsung. Oh, my bad. It's just a scam call. Ah, I get those two on my, 
my little device. I'm interested in seeing this Samsung you have. <laughs> yeah, I got it from Wild Western Mobile. Cecil, so I can tell you're a good person. I, I really try. Where are you planning on going? I, I'll be honest. I, I don't quite know. I've Ever since my colleague died, I've been just searching for the answers to the questions he left behind. It's it's about the portals and why we ended up here. Why this this planet, this universe, was inundated with people like me, the, the portal hoppers. Don't call yourself that. You're a lot more than that, all right? I'm a, I'm an understanding man, but I don't understand self-deprecation. It's funny you say that. You called yourself a lowly human earlier, but I think that's far from the truth. You might have lived here less time than I've been, but I think in that time you've had many more experiences than I have. I've been insulated, you know, looking at the arcane innovations and scholastic pursuits. I think your active manner of traveling and meeting people has led to you having much more wisdom when it comes to people. And I that's that's why I sought you out. I I have to admit I'm perplexed on these these people that seem to be doing wrongs in the what they declare the pursuit of, of good, but I just don't see how that tying up a, an inebriated man can possibly be in the pursuit of good. That is that is fair. You ever heard of a group called the Pinkertons? Don't I can't say I have. The Pinkertons was a group that uh was basically acting as an independent police force in the states. But ever since this uh, little war between the North and the South happened, they've been struggling, trying to keep up their own. Uh, a group decided to branch off after they saw how they were treating a lot of the uh, individuals from the portals and made their own group. You may have guessed by now, but I'm part of that group. And uh, what is this group called? The Game Wardens. What is what is your duty as a as a game warden? Well, we go around, investigate various uh, strange occurrences around the states, and make sure that they're fixed. Make sure nothing like Georgia happens again, just like how we're doing in this town right here. So this was your destination? No, this just happens to be something we came across. Actually, I I have a question, Shaw. Is Layla part of the game wardens? Not exactly, and uh, you see, he gets a little uh standoffish a little bit about Layla and her involvement in this group. I'd rather not talk about it. Ah, very well. It, your secrets are your own. I appreciate that. I don't know if you're interested in maybe joining our ranks. If y'all have been around this long, I assume your base of knowledge is much better than mine, and I would love the opportunity to do good. I, I feel like our goals align quite similarly. You have to go undergo some training, just so you know. Ah, I, I could see that. I'm, you know, I'm not the best when it comes to, uh, I guess, enforcing the law. <laughs> Why don't you take this? And he, uh, he takes out a little pin. A little star. Ah, yeah, this looks quite like, uh, Bryce's pin. Oh, no. This is our junior deputy specials that we give to little kids. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have time. <laughs> this kind of happened all, all of a sudden, so we don't really have time. I don't have time to make you a... I think that's quite all right, Shaw. Although I do look like quite an old kid with this mustache. I think you should maybe try and get a better look at some of these individuals. You know, maybe it's just a first off-hand thing. If it's uh, if they're not to your accord, you know, you can always uh, come with me and Layla where we're going to. I I appreciate that, Shaw. I really do. I I want to help these people, but if if they keep surrounding themselves with bad decisions i i and good standing can't stay with them um i just hope that while we're together with them you can help me try and guide these these young souls uh because i i think that a lot of them are just just lost especially crawley that 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 one seems he he kind of scares me try to keep this on the down low oh, of course and i i slipped the pin on the inside of my i guess my jacket my robe yeah, you as you as you look at it, you see that it just says Junior Weenie Hut Sheriff. <laughs> and uh, Shaw, if if I can, could I count on you to help me guide these these ones, at least while we're with them? Uh, certainly, I'll certainly try my best. I feel I feel like they they give you a lot more respect than they do me. I'm as much as I hate to say it, just a small little man. Um, I, I feel like my stature alone. Uh, 
lends itself to a stereotype. But you, you know, you're one of the big gruff. You, you really look the cutting image of a of a sheriff or a traveler. And I feel like that. Honestly, I feel like they're all a little enamored with you. We're only as great as our heart is. Well, Cha, thank you for this conversation. I'm gonna go head back and um, and hope sure make sure that the uh, mayor's still alive. For sure, me and the other two will be over there soon. You're at the inn, right? Well, I, I'll be at the inn. I'm gonna go at least get the mayor into bed. Um, if you can let Belmok know that he can come in the inn, he doesn't have to sleep in the, the library. I know he's been out here for quite a while. I think he likes it, to be honest with you. Aren't there dead, aren't there dead horses in there? I know. It's um, weird. How does he keep that gun so clean when he's so dirty? It's, it's honestly incredible. I don't know. I Earlier, I came over here and heard him. He said he was shining his gun, but I also heard something moaning. And uh, Shaw, I don't think you needed to share that. Oh my god, I think he's alone with Layla. Alright, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I saw Bill Mock on the list. Oh god. <laughs>